What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making my favorite recipes from this super expensive grocery store called Erewhon. If you guys don't know what Erewhon is, it's a California grocery chain. It is the most expensive grocery store in the world, probably. <laughs> it makes Whole Foods look cheap. They have this prepared food section that is so bomb. Like they have all these fresh salads, you can get like grab and go little containers of food and all their recipes are so good. So I'm gonna show you how to make some of my favorite salads and things that I like to get from there. Um, so we can make it at home. And these are all really easy recipes. So we're gonna save ourselves a crap ton of money and just make it ourselves. First, we're gonna make Erwan's kale white bean salad. Um, this one is really popular. I've seen a lot of copycat recipes of people making this. It's kale, white beans, avocado, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, like really simple, but it is so good. I don't know anybody who actually like grocery shops at Erewhon, like you have to be like a billionaire to actually buy your groceries from Erewhon, but everybody that I know just goes for the hot food bar and like a little sweet treat. So for our kale, white bean salad, I'm gonna roughly chop this. The way they serve it is like in pretty big chunks and then it has like big chunks of avocado in it. Oh, I got this from the farmer's market this weekend. So this is a great way to use this up. We need some white kidney beans. I love, this is my favorite type of bean to use in a salad. They're just like really soft. The dressing for the salad is really simple. Erwan uses a lot of olive oil in their recipes. And I think a lot of my viewers are oil free, so I'm gonna reduce it a little bit. This one is so good. It is really high quality. Like I never have had like really good olive oil before and this one tastes and smells fruity. It is so crazy. Oh my God, it smells like, like fruity candy. To make up for the olive oil, I'm gonna add in the reserved bean liquid, <laughs> bean juice. We're gonna add some Dijon mustard. I love this one from Trader Joe's. It has such a good flavor. A little bit of maple syrup and salt and pepper to your taste. This is a fresh lemon from my garden. It still has a spider web attached. Now we're gonna whisk that all together with a mini whisk. Oh my God, it tastes identical. Wow, that is identical to how it tastes. We did a great job. I'm gonna pour about half the dressing right on top here. And then you're just gonna massage the dressing into the kale. This makes it so much more like chewable. So it's not so like tough. Look how much it shrinks down. Mmm. Mmm. So we're gonna add in some of our white beans. I think I have kale in my teeth now. Okay, next we're adding in some avocado chunks. Erewhon's recipe, they just like cut it up in big chunks and you get like a big bite of avocado. It's not that pleasant. Add this avocado in. Next we're adding in pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and hemp seeds. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of each. Some hemp seeds. And sunflower seeds. It is looking gorgeous. We're gonna toss all this together and then drizzle it with more dressing on top. Here is our beautiful recipe number one, Erwan's kale and white bean salad. Top it off with the rest of the dressing. Oh, Colin is coming, perfect timing. Okay, perfect timing. I have a taste tester who's on his lunch break. Let's taste test my copycat kale white bean avocado salad. I think I poured too much dressing on it in the last second. Does, does it look like too much dressing? Here we go, cheers. Tastes like it. Tastes just like it. <laughs> good job. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did a good job. <laughs> yeah. If you were to get this at Air One, you would just, just get like one tiny little portion, but like, like now we have a big bowl. You like it? Really good. Here is my perfect copycat kale white bean salad from Erwan. 
We don't need to go to Air One anymore because we have Air One at home. Next up, we are recreating one of my favorite sweet treats to get from Erewhon, which is their raw cinnamon roll. This is like a pre-baked cinnamon roll when it's like doughy on the outside. It doesn't look like anything special, but there's something about it that is just so delicious. And after testing about eight batches of this recipe, I think I really nailed it. First, we have to mix together psyllium husk and water. This is what's gonna like bind the dough together. A quarter cup of psyllium and two thirds cup of water. Mix that together till a gel forms. For the dough, I like to use my Vitamix to get it really nice and smooth. So you'll need two cups of oats blended into flour until it forms a really fine powder. And then add in half a cup of pecans and blend it again. Half a cup of pecans. You could make this entire recipe in the food processor, but I want this flour to be as finely smooth as possible. Don't over blend it because then you'll make pecan butter, but you don't want to have any clumps in the doughy part because Air Ones is super smooth and there's like no chunks in it. It is a nice fine flour. I'm going to actually switch to the food processor next. So add the oat flour to the food processor along with a quarter cup of maple syrup, the psyllium husk gel, a dash of salt, and two teaspoons of vanilla two teaspoons of vanilla. Blend that all up and it's gonna form a dough ball. So just keep blending it for a few more seconds. And here is our dough ball. Then we're gonna roll the dough out to a long rectangle shape and use two pieces of parchment so it doesn't stick on either side. Try and get it as close to a rectangle as you can. For the filling, I'm just gonna use the same food processor. You'll need 10 pitted dates, blend those up first by themselves to get them nice and mashed up, and it will form a date ball. A half a cup more of pecans, blend that up again. Ceylon cinnamon. Three and a half teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon. It has to be Ceylon cinnamon because it has a much more mild flavor. A small dash of salt and some vanilla extract. Blend that up until it forms this smooth paste, and that is gonna be our filling. Spread the filling on top of the dough, and leave a little bit of room at the end so you can seal the cinnamon roll up. Erewhon cinnamon roll has a few pecan chunks in the middle. If you want, you can sprinkle some more pecans in, and then go ahead and roll it up from one end to the other. You can use the parchment paper to help you get a nice tight roll. I'm gonna wrap this up and put it in the fridge for a couple minutes, and then we will slice into it. And after 30 minutes in the fridge, it will slice up nice and easy. The longer it sits in the fridge, the firmer it gets, and the more closer to Erewhon's texture it becomes because Erewhon's dough is nice and firm. And you have just created Erewhon's famous cinnamon roll at home for a fraction of the price of what it would be. This next recipe, I'm picking some stuff fresh from my garden. We'll need some parsley and tomatoes. favorite salad I like to get from there. It's literally like two ingredients. It's white beans, tomatoes, parsley, and like olive oil and vinegar, but I love these giant beans so much. I get this salad pretty much every time I go. I kind of messed up because I made these in my Instant Pot, but I only made like a handful of them. Should have definitely made more than that. But um, yeah, I buy the white beans from Whole Foods. They're actually really high in protein too. They're like 50% protein or something like that. They are my new favorite bean. Erwan uses like these really nice heirloom tomatoes in their recipe. So I'm gonna use a combination of these and some cherry tomatoes that I just picked. So yeah, it's a really simple recipe. So we have our white beans here. Add in the chopped tomatoes and parsley. This dressing is really simple. We're gonna use our high quality olive oil white balsamic vinegar, and just some salt and pepper. That's it. And then you just 
chill these ingredients together. I love these giant white beans so much. Mmm. Oh my god. Like, simplicity is so delicious. I love this salad. Here's our very simple but delicious giant white bean tomato salad. Mmm! Seriously, spot on. This tastes just like it. And I feel like after it chills in the fridge all together, it will taste even better. Mmm, so good. These are the giant beans I buy. I actually buy these at Whole Foods. According to my chronometer, they have a lot of protein in them, more than like regular beans. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you in my next video. Let me know if I should do more Air One recipes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.